Hi there, welcome to QA Box. Let's test. In this video, we are going to talk about CSS selectors. So both developers and testers they need to learn CSS selectors so that you know as a developer, you know you can identify the control on the web page and style it accordingly. And as a tester, you need to identify the control so that you can interact with that control. All right. So in this video, we are going to start with the basic selectors and the first one in the list is universal selector and this is how you do it so what does it do so it selects all the elements all right and let's say set the background color of all the element to yellow all right the moment i do so you could see that all the elements are selected all right including your input boxes and your button right so if you use body in here all right so which is uh, you know select element of that particular type all right so that's number two and if you do so you could see that everything is selected all right uh, so in the category in this category we also let's say if you want to style all the divs right so but let's first understand so this div header hr div right which are enclosed within these opening and uh, you know closing angular brackets they are called as elements and these are called as attributes this is attribute value and this is the text all right that we see on the web page so now uh, they are three divs and all are being styled so all has the background color of yellow all right so now as a tester how are you going to use that so whatever i'm going to write in here all right so this is the selenium code and i'm finding all the divs right by using css selector and this is what i'm passing in here so anything that i write right uh, going forward so you just have to you know take that um, css selector thing and paste it here and then it is going to work for you as well and now if i run this it is going to tell me hey there are three divs on that web page so instead of using some you know um, stylish website I just went for a very simple HTML um, page so that you know we, we focus more on the concept part all right so you could see that it's telling me there are three devs and if we go back in here so we have these three devs all are being bordered right so you could see that there are three devs and I've just used some basic elements like you know link span some allies and uh, some input controls all right let's say i want to span uh, style all the span so what i'm going to do you're going to use span right so now only the spans are being highlighted if you say links right anchor tag right so then all the anchors will be uh, highlighted all right so that's how you're going to do it next one is class so herein this ally has got the class red so if i want to style only the elements right which have got that class so all you're going to do is with for class you use dot and then you specify the name of the class and if i say red right and just save it so now only this li has got the class red okay and hence it is being highlighted so if you just say li so all the li's are being highlighted right but you want only the one which has got the red class to be highlighted so now you're going to use this the other one is id all right and how are you going to use id so you're going to say hash and then pass in the id value you save it and now this one is selected all right because it has got this id all right so next one is combination all right so first one is descendant so descendant basically select elements that are descendant of the first element so let us find all the um, allies which are inside div these are selected right span within div all right so irrespective of the level so you know it could be uh, nested inside five different elements still it is going to find that okay so direct child select element that are direct child of the first element okay let's use this example uh, this one right so if i say uh, it has to be the direct child of div all right so it will not work uh, as you could say nothing is being highlighted because uh, 
uh, in here, if you could see that this B tag is direct child of span and not div and hence it's not being selected. So if you want to apply style on this, all you have to do is you have to say span and then this particular thing is highlighted. All right. So next one is general sibling. So uh, general sibling basically we, we have to use tilde and you know if we have to select elements that are sibling of the first element and come after the first element all right so let us understand this so we are going to uh, use this and we are going to say select all the uh, sibling of li which has got the class red all right so then the way we are going to do is we are going to say li dot red and for general sibling we use the sign tilde and we are going to say li okay and if we do so we save that you know all the following siblings are being selected but what if i want to just select the adjacent ones means the second one all right so for that you have to use plus save it only the second is being highlighted all right that's about adjacent uh, so we can also use the or and and in here so we can say you know uh, select all span and allies all right so we're going to span comma ally and you could see that you know only the span and the allies are being selected or, or styled uh, if you want to use the end we have already used that uh, which was if you let's say uh, we used red right to style only the ally which has got this class and you can be more specific by saying that allies of class red right so let's say this ally uh, has got this class right so now let's give this span a class okay and if we say dot red only so you could see two elements are being selected but it can be more specific so this is how you're going to do end so li no space and then this is how you're going to use it you can also uh, say uh, let's say this also has a class uh, green all right and if you now do this okay so you can merge the other class as well by using another dot and you can say this okay so now this one is selected if you use any other class let's say blue okay so now this one is not selected because this ally does not have both the classes but if you change it to blue now you save it this one is selected again all right so the next uh, category is based on the attributes okay I use let's say i want to style all the elements which uh, has got this attribute all right so for that we have to use square brackets and inside that if we just pass in that so only these two are selected all right uh, next one is you know exact select element that have the that have that attribute with exactly that value okay so let's say we are going to say in here attribute with exact value okay and it is going to be this so when i do so only the first one is selected because this has this value okay so next one is begins with select elements that have that attribute which start with that value okay so now if for that what you have to do is you have to use this cap symbol okay if you do so and now you could see both are selected because you know these values start with att okay in for both of these elements next one is uh, ends with select elements that have that attribute which you know end with that value and for that uh, we are going to make a slight change so uh, for end it is going to be a dollar sign and then you're going to say butte right and then only the second one is selected all right the last one is uh, you know substring so select element that have that attribute which contain that value anywhere all right so we can say um, tri okay and now we have to use asterisk okay save it and now this one is selected okay so that's about the attribute the next one is uh, pseudo class basically and it depends upon the state of the element so let us do that so we have these uh, input 
uh, elements right so uh, first one has uh, is disabled one second one is required right so we can say uh, input and the way we are going to work on pseudo classes is using this dot and we are going to say disabled okay and if we do so so you could see that disabled one is now uh, styled with color background color yellow the other one you can use is uh, hover right so when we hover over these uh, so you could see that the style is being changed all right so uh, what else do we have in there we we can also have a um, in a focus let's say so we say focus and if i click inside that you could see the color is changed when i click outside the styling is gone okay um, so the next one is checked okay so we can say checked uh, and background color doesn't work with uh, combo boxes right check boxes sorry uh, what we have to do is we have to say margin and we are going to set margin to let's say 100 pixel right so, so let me save that and click on this and now you could see the margin is being applied when I untick that it's gone right so that's about uh, pseudo class based on the state next is uh, pseudo class but based on the position of your element right the first one is first child right so select element that are the first child inside a container all right so if we look at this right so we have got div and then we have got this span right but this is not the first child so this will not get selected but in this particular case this span is the first child of div right so and, and by the way what a child so basically uh, you know body has got these these are ch ch children of it all right and they are the same level and uh, hence they are sibling of each other all right and then and this is the nested list all right of elements so these elements are child of this right this is child of body and div is sibling of hr okay so this is how uh, the hierarchy is set up now we say uh, div okay and we are going to say so we're going to say span sorry um first child okay so now only this one is selected like i mentioned okay we also have the con so if i let's say uh comment these out okay and hit the save so these two as well so now you could see this one is also selected okay because this is now the first child same way we have the last child okay we save that now this is the last child and this is the first and last because this is the only element right so uh, hence it is being highlighted in both the cases but if i just remove this uh, and this basically so they are neither the first nor the second child and hence the styling would not be applied as you could see okay so the next one is in the list is first of type all right and let's understand that so if we say span first of type all right uh, and that way is uh, will understand the difference right so still it is being selected because it is first of the type within that container all right it is not necessary that it has to be the first child now what we are saying is it is first of the type okay so select element that are first of the type inside the container and last is again select element that are last of the type inside the container all right so even if i say last okay so this one is still get selected though this is not the last child within this uh, container of type span okay so that's a difference between you know first child and first of type uh, we can also have you know uh, let's say i want to find out uh, nth hyphen child okay this and then i pass in let's say 2n now uh, this one li right so now you could see that 
this and these are selected we can also pass in 2 and minus 1 now 1 and 3rd are selected and so on right and same way you can have uh, nth last child okay and now it starts from the bottom okay and um, same way if you have to do this like you can go for that all right and what else do we have we can have allies uh, which do not let's say contain a specific class so we say not and then we pass in uh, let's say uh, this one and we're going to say hash and this so you could see that all other allies are selected except this all right so that's all about uh, uh, css selectors i hope you like that and if so then uh, subscribe to my channel thank you so much